Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the second method on how you can get black joggers and for this method you do not need an MOC or any expensive requirements. Also guys, I did make a Twitter account so if you want to go and follow it, I'll put it on screen now. I do only have like 4 followers at the moment but I'm trying to just use it just in case anything happens to my channel. Also, I'm going to ask for a quick favour on this video and ask you to go down below and hit that like button as we're going to try and aim for about 800 likes on this video. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss a single upload from my channel. Also, shout out to these people on screen for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. So guys, before we begin, I'm going to quickly tell you about Digizani.com. They offer cheap, fast and reliable cash and rank services and if you want these super cheap services, there is a link down below in the description. And most importantly, don't forget to use my code TJRH for a 5% discount. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, unfortunately, all your saved outfits except for one is going to get deleted by doing this method. As doing this method, we are going to be doing the transfer glitch, which if you don't know, does actually delete all your saved outfits. However guys, you can actually save one saved outfit, so I'd suggest saving your favourite outfit and once you get these black joggers, you can then just go ahead and make as many outfits as you want using them. And you can also get all your outfits back. So guys, what you need to do to save an outfit is equip the outfit you would like to save and that's it. And then once you have done that, what you want to do is just go ahead and delete all your saved outfits. However, by doing a glitch, it does delete them anyway, no matter what. So either way, they're getting deleted. This is just for a better chance of hitting a glitch. Now guys, what you want to do is put the required amount of money inside of your bank. Now guys, once you've done that, what you want to do is open your pause menu and go down to swap character. Now guys, the only requirement for this method to work is that you will need your main character to be in the left slot and it will also need to be a male or else this will not work for you. And then on the right slot, you want to make a new female character. Also, if this alert does pop up, all you want to do is accept it. And then once you're in this menu here, all you want to do is make sure it is a female you're making. And then once you've made sure it's a female, because you can actually change it between male and female at the top here. Just hit save and continue, name it anything, and take the picture, and then you should load into a public session. So once you've loaded into a public session, all you want to do is make your way to any clothing store on the map. And also guys, you will need to turn on passive mode. Well, you don't need to, it's just so no one messes up a glitch whilst you're doing it. And yeah guys, if, they, if the clothing stores don't pop up, what you can do is you can find a new session and then they should pop up on the map. But if they do pop up, just head over to any clothing store. Now guys, I don't know why I cut it there, because I was already at a clothing store. But yeah, don't ask me why, I can't remember, I recorded it the other day. And that's what I usually do, I just cut and then go to the clothing store. But I was already at one. But yeah, what you want to do is head inside, go to the accessories menu. Now what you want to do is remove any accessories that come with your outfit. So most standard outfits do come with earrings, so what you want to do is just take them off. And also take off any other accessories. So once you have done that, what you want to do is head down to gloves. And you want to equip the black woolen gloves. And once you have equipped the black woolen gloves, head over to the shoes section. Now guys, the only problem with this outfit, which I figured out after, is that you cannot change the shoes after you've got the black joggers. So after you do this whole thing, you can't change the shoes. So you're stuck with the shoes you equip on the female. So they ac actually equal something else. So these are, I can't remember what shoes they were, but they're some sort of black high top shoes. But yeah, I'll put a list on screen now of what shoes equal. So what you can do is just equip those shoes on the female and it will equal whatever on the male. So I'll just put the list on the screen. Also what you can do is just make this outfit like loads of times but each time with different shoes. So if you want loads of different shoes with your black joggers you can do that. But anyway go to pants, go to sports pants and equip the first ones. The spotted muscle pants. And once you have equipped those turn around and go on to the top section. Now just scroll up to bikinis. And what you want to do is equip the black one. So I do believe it is number 27. So yeah, this one here. This makes it so when you make the outfit on the male, you can actually change the top. So you'll be able to change everything but the shoes. 
So yeah, and then what you want to do is head over to the front desk and you just want to save this outfit and that's the outfit fully complete. So guys, you want to save it to slot 2. So just make sure you do the same as me. So guys, what you can do now is you can either go and change the shoes and just keep saving loads of different outfits with the different shoes. So if you want to, you can go back to the screen, uh, the list that I put on the screen earlier and pause it. But yeah, once you have got all your outfits, what you want to do is simply just take the easy way out. But if you only want to make one outfit like I did with one pair of shoes, that's fine. Just do what I did. Now guys, once you spawn out on foot, all you want to do is just simply open your pause menu. Then go onto online and go down to creator. Now guys, once you're in this menu here, all you want to do is just make a new land race. Now from here, just fill in the details so the title, description and photo do not matter. However, this part here does matter. You want to set the maximum players to three. And once you've done that, you also want to change the route type to point to point. And once you've done that, you can just make this part a little bit quicker by choosing a supercar. And once you have done that, what you want to do is warp to the airport. Now guys, just place a trigger anywhere. Then take a photo of anything for the lobby camera. Now guys, this part here is important. So what you want to do is place checkpoints until the race is at least one mile. So if it isn't at least one mile long, it will not allow you to test it. So just make sure it's at least one mile long. And once you've done that, what you want to do is just test it. So once you have finished testing it, you should get this alert here. So what you want to do with this alert is you want to accept it. And then once you've loaded in to this menu here, just open your pause menu, go to online, choose character. So guys, from here, all you want to do is just delete your female character. So make sure it is your female you're deleting and not your male. As I'm sure none of you want to delete your male anyway. And if you do, you'll delete all your stats. So just make sure you don't do that. And now just type delete to confirm. Now guys, this part here is important. So what you want to do from here is actually press B or circle for PS4 to return to story mode. Now guys, once you've loaded in, all you want to do is just start up a brand new online invite only session. Now guys, I'm not sure why I spawned in this apartment here, but what you want to do from here is just go to any clothing store on the map. Guys, you should also have spawned in with the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning. And what you want to do is just go to the front desk and save this outfit. Now you want to make sure you save it above your outfit that's transferred from the female so i usually save mine to slot 10 and you should also see that the outfit from the female is now onto your male character so if it is that's good everything's worked perfectly now what you want to do is equip the effortless standard outfit and then remove any accessories that come with the outfit and once you have done that head over to the pants section and what you want to do is go down to utility pants and go to the bottom and you want to equip the last ones the black heist pants. Now guys, for this next part, you will need an earpiece, which if you don't know how to get one, you can get one from the ammunition store at the gear section. But what you want to do from here is just open your pause menu, go to jobs, play jobs. You want to go down to verses and start a crooked cop. Now guys, what you want to do on this menu here is go down to clothing and set it to player owned. And once you have done that, what you want to do is just invite anyone to start up the job. Now guys, once you're on this menu here, go down to owned outfit and scroll once to the right. 
and as you can see you should get the same outfit here so it will look glitched right now but i'm telling you once you get out of this you'll see that it goes back to like a normal outfit but of course still with black joggers and invisible ankles Now guys, once you've loaded in, what you want to do is just equip your earpiece. So you can do this by going into the interaction menu, going to style and just equipping your earpiece. Now if you want to spawn outside by the clothing store, what you want to do is just go to the clothing store in the mission. So just follow the way I'm going. Now once you're here, what you want to do is check to see if you still have your earpiece equipped. And if you do, just quit the job by using your phone now guys if your outfit doesn't immediately change to like mine looks with this charcoal top then what you want to do is just wait for a bit and it will change to look like this now guys from here just save your outfit now guys you can actually customize this outfit as much as you want so like normal black joggers you can do anything except for the shoes you cannot change the shoes but you can change stuff like the top and you can put a mask helmet gloves anything but i don't think the shoes matter too much but yeah you should have equipped the shoes you wanted anyway because when you were making the outfit on the female i did put up the screen on the screen what shoes equal what so you should actually have the ones you want or you might have made a bunch of outfits with loads of ones you want and if you did make that all you have to do is do the crooked cop merge part just over and over again for each black joggers outfit basically so to explain it better basically if you did make more than one or like say four different ones with different shoes what you'd want to do is just do the same thing i've done for that crooked cop part there so the same thing i've done to get mine but do that four times over and over again but after you've made each outfit in crooked cop what you would want to do is then delete that outfit that you used in Crooked Cop to make it. So when you scroll once to the right in Crooked Cop. For mine it said like new outfit one. So you just want to delete that. After you've ended up making this outfit and saved it. So just do that for each one. And you'll be able to get each one with different shoes no problem. Guys I apologise if that made no sense to you. But I had to try and explain it anyway. But yeah it should be quite simple. You should understand because if you just keep that first if you keep the first one after you've made it in the first slot you're going to keep end up making that because when you scroll once to the right in crooked cop you get that first outfit on your saved outfits list so once you've made that you want to delete that one so then you can go on to the next one when you scroll one to the right otherwise it'll mess up everything and just keep merging them guys if you just don't understand just don't bother making like four different ones just make just one like i did with the shoes you want because it might be hard to follow what i'm saying Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and don't forget to hit that like button down below as we're trying to aim for about 800 likes on this video. So it will be much appreciated if you can hit that like button. And also if you are new to my channel and you do like my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on post notifications by hitting the bell icon. That's so you won't miss a single upload from my channel. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.